More civilised now. It's just after low water, which is perfect timing for us. And uh, oh, as you can see, all the fishing boats have gone. And this was our issue in the middle of the night, wasn't it, Bev? <laughs> Bev did curse them a wee bit. Uh, but anyway, we're down on a mooring, and uh, this is us in. Um, Peel Harbour, but at least the sea state. Oh god, it was just dreadful last night um, when we first came on. And um, let's just go forward. <sighs> what I did last night was um, that um, that loop uh, just down there. I actually put it on the cleat, and I put that rope through the hard point. Oh my god, what a mistake. Um, because I absolutely couldn't get it off. What I had to do was I had to uh, put another rope through it and I had to actually lever it off. And it was just so difficult. But I did it eventually. And then um, we went and moored against a fishing boat. It's about three hours altogether, wasn't it, Bev? On the fishing boat. Yeah, something like that. We were on the fishing boat for three hours because then, uh, then we had the wonderful uh, job of um, get off, our boat, off our, get off our boat. We want to go really fishing. <laughs> so <laughs> we did not get the best night's sleep, but never mind. We're off, and it's only hopefully a five-hour passage today. <gasps> in um, Peel and it's castle and you can see why it, these castles can just disappear into the landscape because they're the same colour as the rock. <laughs> it's, made from the local landscape. it's made from the local landscape so it just looks like a bigger cliff to be honest but it has to be said it's an incredibly rugged landscape but it'll look better with some more sunshine. Exclusives at the moment are running quite ridiculous, but uh, Beverly is doing an absolutely superb job on the helm. Uh, we've um, been in some really, really high seas, and the seas are still currently very high. Um, but Bev's having to tack under engine. Um, and we've currently got the waves on our um, stern. So she's doing an absolutely superb job. 
what I'm doing at the moment is um, I'm currently reporting in every 15 minutes to um, Belfast Coast Guard uh, report. No, it's Belfast now. Belfast Co Coast Guard reporting our position every 15 minutes, and all of a sudden, an EPIRB is on the list of items that we really, really need. Or ages. Ages. Yeah, We need something because at the moment, what I'm doing is just reporting my position. Um, because we've broached, we nearly broached twice now, I think, which was, quite frankly, very, very scary. So, this is everything from the, <laughs> the glorious weather to the <laughs> sheer, sheer abject terror of uh, dying so you're getting everything and now I've got to go and look for lobster pots just to add to our worries Diving charters uh, came back in his uh, came by in his powerful rib, and he is uh, currently escorting us into Port St Mary. Um, basically, just keeping a watchful eye more than anything else, uh, so that if we get into difficulty or anything like that which could easily happen okay which can easily happen <laughs> uh, there's somebody quite close by that's uh, Port St Mary which is where we're heading and quite frankly, it looks like a welcome harbour to us. Well, we're in um, Port St Mary. And I have to say, I am so relieved. I mean, say, so look at the place. It looks so quiet. And peaceful. And just brilliant. Whereas on the other side of the wall, although it's still cut, it's calming now, it was just absolutely dreadful. So uh, I am so glad that we are now in Port St Mary. <laughs> <laughs> 